Earlier in this newscast, we reported that North Carolina has now surpassed 15,000 COVID-19 related deaths. For Wilkes County EMS, that statistic is hitting home. Paramedic John Thomas Ring died Monday due to complications from COVID-19. He was only 35 years old. Today, our Ford Hatchet spoke with Ring's colleagues in Wilkesboro about how they are processing this sudden and tragic loss. Here in Wilkes County, there's still some very heavy hearts mourning the loss of paramedic John Thomas Ring, someone his co-workers describe as everybody's best friend. If you were Thomas Ring's partner, um, uh, you had a good day, no matter what. He always um, portrayed his, his good heart to, every, to whoever he was working with. Ring joined the Wilkes County EMS team in 2017, and those that worked with him say they never heard him complain. He was just always eager to learn, so passionate about his job, um, always had a smile on his face. You never saw him without a smile on his face. Ring leaves behind his wife Marty and his teammates say they've heard from countless people sharing their own memories with Ring. Outpouring of, uh, you know, people reaching out to us, to his family. Nurse, has been amazing. Nurses that he, uh, he had conversations with at the hospital, um, they all, they, they would text us frequently um, to let us know that they were praying for him, they were thinking about him. Ringo, as his friends affectionately called him, earned a reputation for having a large sense of humor. And in the days since losing him, his teammates have found it challenging to continue working. It's very difficult. Huge loss to our, our entire agency. But it's what he would have wanted. It's what he would have wanted. And as they continue to work, his teammates say Ringo's kind heart and warm demeanor will inspire them every day they're on the job. In Wilkesboro, Fort Hatchet, WXII, 12 News.